champ is here. The champ is here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's your boy Champ, and this is the Champ is Here show. Yeah, what's going on, guys? It's your boy, Mr. Long Champ here, co-hosting. Co-hosting. <laughs> Shout outs to all the listeners. Shout outs to YouTube, Spotify, Apple, everything. Appreciate you guys. Honey, 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 honey. So um we're gonna talk about um we're gonna talk about a few different things going on in the culture and I got a few stories that I want to share. Okay, some, I can't wait to hear these stories. <laughs> I got to do some real estate stories because, you know, I like to talk about my adventures. So, it's good, it's bad, and it's ugly. Don't get it twisted. People see me on the gram, oh, you're doing your thing, but don't, don't think it gets nasty. It definitely gets nasty, you know what I mean? But we'll get into that later, so. Instagram is a lie. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. Just a couple couple uh, news updates, you know what I mean? I don't know if you heard your boy Trump back again. He let a bunch of people out. He, 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 he signed a bunch of pardons, you know what I mean? He trying to get all those homies, all the homies out before, uh, you know what I mean? Before he gets out of there, he's like, yo, let me get all my boys out of here. That's how you do it. <laughs> Get the homies out. <laughs> Loyalty over royalty. You ain't know that? Come on. You ain't know that game? Loyalty over royalty? Come on. <laughs> yeah, man. Free the homies. That's how you but do I it. Didn't, not, and now, now, you know what I mean? He's trying to sweet talk everybody. He, Because, uh, you know, he's supposed to be getting that stimulus. I think it's like 600. But I think he's trying to push it to be like 2,000. But that's only if he's still <laughs> trying to get to the Hello, yo, come on, son. Let my son rock. Let my son rock, B. So somebody tweet like, hold on, Joe Biden, you trying to match? You trying to you trying to bring it up to five? What's up? <laughs> I mean, you know, Joe. 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 It's all good. It's all good. It's all good. Nah, I you know, I didn't I didn't hear about that, but I'm not I'm not surprised. Definitely. <laughs> trying to do that you know what I'm saying? you heard about little you heard little wayne uh sold uh his masters and he sold like young money so like a third of uh drake and Nicki minaj's <laughs> masters is sold too he made like 100 mil who did he sell it to uh i think universal i can just double check that to make sure but yeah <laughs> <laughs> so, so this is why you see him in like this Gucci flag. You see him. He needs more bud. He needs more syrup. He needs more perks. He needs more Xanax. He needs more of those. So he could keep his show popping. He got his uh, his podcast. <laughs> so you're telling me he sold a third of it? Well, it's. No, he sold all of Young Money's masters, but that's not entire. That's not all of Drake's music because he has a lot of his music outside of Young Money now. So, no, but it's like it a third was, of it's a third it, of uh, Drake's catalog. Wait, hold on. Let me get this straight. I know that Drake and Nicki Minaj is still signed to him. No, nah, Drake's contract contract is done. Drake's contract is done. I don't know about Nicki, but I know for a fact Drake is Drake for three years. I do know, I, I believe last year, I believe it was last year, um, Nicki Minaj was still signed to Cash Money, Young Money Cash Money. And you're telling me Drake hold on a second. Can you can you look that up? Can you look that yeah. up? Yeah. <laughs> Cause I'm, I'm like, I'm still, I'm, I'm like, flabbergasted. Did I say that word right? Yeah. Flabbergast, flabbergasted, faber, faberglasted. Help me out, please. Yeah, I mean, there's, yeah, last year, 2019, they said that. Yeah, he's not, he's no longer. Uh, yeah, he's no longer signed to. Young money, cash money. 
Yep, as of 2019. I think it was, yeah, because I remember he had to come out with like a certain number of albums and that that year that was the last one. Hmm. Well, what about Nicki Minaj? Nicki? I think she might still be. Wow. Yo, when you think, when you think it's over, she is. Mama, she still is? Yeah. So whatever Drake is making right now, he's good. He's good, yeah. Drake is good. <laughs> That's why he could he could be at the crib with two Maybach. Yeah, so like what he dropped this year, the uh, the dark dark lane demo tapes, that was his. Okay. And Nicki and Nicki Minaj didn't she like retire, supposedly? Supposedly, that that's she, or she's about to or something like that. I did hear something like that. And she she's like married to like some some blood dude, right? She's married to some guy who doesn't even rap or I don't even think does he even have money? Like does he? I don't know. I don't really know his whole story. But uh, was she's wild for that. She's wild for that. <laughs> Well, for that, I don't know why she even did that, but that's none of my business. It's all good. But the lesson in the story, guys, own your own masters. Thanks. Own a, lot, a lot of new artists are doing that now. I mean, is it following like Chance. Wow, I'm following. Um, yeah, it sucks. So what, what, else, what, what else is going on? I don't know, um, you heard about Coming Coming America, Coming to America, the number two? Facts, I've been heard about I don't know if you talked about that, what you think? Um, sometimes when you have a classic, you want to leave it alone. I don't know if they're going to be the same kind of funny. Yeah. You know what I mean? Sometimes you're not in tune with the culture now. Because what was funny then might not be funny today. So I can't wait to see it. You know, it's definitely going to bring a lot, but hopefully it's not a bust. You know? But yeah, yeah I mean, I always like the uh, Eddie's comedy, but. Listen, we're going to find out. So. <laughs> yeah, we're going to find out. Don't worry. And it's not even in theaters. I think it's coming out like it's going to be streaming or something, right? It's going to be. Yeah, some select theaters or whatever. I think it. I think it just came out last week in some select theaters or something like that. Like in certain states, that's open. Okay. Like probably in Florida. You know what I mean? I okay. Know, Florida, Florida, wide open. <laughs> okay. So what else? What What else is going on? Um, NBA's back. Who Who, who you got for twenty twenty? Who's your, Who's your, Who you picking this year? Oh, Lakers again. The Lakers again. Okay. Yeah, hundred percent. Hundred percent. What about you? What about the next? I, mean, I, I was right last year. I was I was right last time when you, yeah, you asked me for the projections. Listen, I, if it were, me personally, if it, I don't think it, I don't know if they would if that one went down if it wasn't for the bubble or whatever. If it wasn't for the COVID. <laughs> you know? Slow down. Put an man. asterisk. I'm putting an asterisk next to last Slow year. Down, young grasshopper. <laughs> Guess what? Guess what? The bubble has nothing to do with the players. You see, I'm still playing the same players. Home court advantage is taken away. There's a lot of different nuances that, you know what I mean? Agree, agree. But I'm still playing professional, high caliber players that made it through a draft, that made it through collegiate basketball, that made it through high school basketball, got drafted, and all of that. So everybody is good. Everyone is really good. Yeah. I beat you. So I'm telling you one thing, I'm not picking the Clippers like I did last year. <laughs> you picked a loser. You picked a loser. You see, I, not to toot my own horn, Okay, hold on, hold on. Not last time we anymore. had this discussion, hold on. Last time we had this discussion, I asked you who was gonna be. I'm like, I, I kept asking you, and you was like, 
I'm like, who's going to be in the finals? Who's going to be in the finals? And who's taking it? And you just said, the Lakers, and uh, the Lakers are going to take it. I'm like, what about the East? And you kept saying, uh, the Lakers, and the Lakers are going to take it. I'm like, okay, okay, this year, what about the East? The East? No, the, the East I, is much better this year. I, I you know, I want to say the Nets. I want to say... You know, the, the Bucks might have a good chance. You know what I mean? But at the end of the day, when they go to the West, whoever they playing, the Lakers. And I'm not even a Laker fan. I could, I, I just know when you have a, I'll give you an example. When you have an athletic big man, there are certain big men that complement a team that I know you'll win or you have a high probability to win. You see, if the Knicks weren't so trash, <laughs> I would have picked the Knicks to win when they had Amari Stoudemire without Melo and or when they had Tyson Chandler. You see, I like athletic big men like that. I said, if you have Tyson Chandler with a dope point guard, and you surround that with good talent, they have a high probability to win. Now, maybe not take it all the way. So when I saw Anthony Davis go into the Lakers, that's why I said that they'll win the chip because you have no point guard, LeBron James. Yeah. If you know he's a point guard. And you have a dope big man, Anthony Davis. You so, need a too. so your boy Champ has what you call the eye of the tiger. I'm sorry. I can foresee certain things. It's not a certainty, but it's a very high, 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 high probability. <laughs> Okay, so I pick the Lakers again. So you say it's the Lakers and Nets in the finals and uh, Lakers? I, I believe so. Okay. I think I think I might actually agree with you this time. You should agree with me all the time. Nets, the Nets, uh, the Nets. Then I don't. I, I'll give them another season. They need another season to get it together. All right, no problem. So what's what's ne what's next on the agenda? Um, last but not least, I was gonna say Super Bowl's coming up. I know you haven't, we, but both of us haven't really probably been paying too much attention to football. But uh, what you do? What uh, you, do you know anything that's happening? You know any of the teams? I don't know anything. <laughs> I just work out in the gym and just look at the top ten plays. That's it. I don't. I haven't been again. Chiefs, Chiefs won last year. Chiefs, Chiefs won last year. I don't know if you remember. But I think no. they might. Re I think they might repeat. Okay, but I haven't watched football ever since the whole Kaepernick situation going on. You know what I'm saying too. So I kind of fell back a little bit. So that's basically it. Got you, got you. That's pretty much it for the sports and the culture. Oh, so we can go into the stories. You okay. Can tell you stories. <laughs> So, I'm going to start with the worst of the worst and then transition. So, my first story that I have is about this gentleman, you know what I'm saying to you, that I took out um, to see a home. It was him and his family. He said he needed a home, two family, three over three with a finished basement, full bathroom, so he can live in the basement, give his family the first unit and rent out the second unit. You see, what I do is I'm not a salesman. I am what you call a match maker. You see, if you say, champ, I would like, I wanna date a shorty, a woman, and I ask you what kind, 
okay, you tell me she has to be 5'5". Five, five. That's all you want. I bring you someone 5'5". Five, five. Come on, Kev. Come on, champ. She's a little, you know what I mean, too slim. She's too skinny. I need them a little thick. You know what I'm saying? I don't mind a little, girl. oh, you want them a little chubby. Okay, no problem. You didn't say that. Bring you one. Okay, no, she's light-skinned. I want them dark-skinned. Oh, you didn't say that. You see, I just bring you what you asked for. If you say, hey, listen, I want someone 5'8", light-skinned, slim, sporty, thick, with a little gap. If you want to be real specific like that, no gap, curly hair, brown eyes, black eyes, whatever, that's what I bring you. So I, again, I'm what you call a matchmaker. So they said they wanted two family, not a shared driveway. I showed them only those homes. I finally showed them something that they like. I showed the family. I showed the, the, the person buying the home. Now he had, he said, let's, let's see other houses. We go see other houses. When he made the decision to get that house, guess what? It was in contract. Somebody bought the house. I took a little break from them. I fell back a little bit because I don't get paid for my time. So they call me again, champ, champ. Um, you haven't called this, blah, 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 blah. So I'm like, you know what? Show them some more houses. I showed them about, I want to say about nine homes in the span of one day. The other time I showed them a few homes, like 15 homes in the span of three days. I showed them a lot of homes. I finally get to a home. Three over three, finished basement, but it doesn't have a full bathroom. I said, listen, don't lose this house because it doesn't have a full bathroom. You can put a full bathroom on your own. And this house is much bigger than the previous house that you wanted. Oh, um, can I see the house? He was going to cancel. And remember, you were watching the kids for me that day. I waited for him for two hours. Then he wanted to reschedule. I said, no, I can't do that. I'm sorry. I don't have the luxury. We're going to see the house tonight. He said, I'm in the Bronx. I said, I'm going to wait for you right here until you come and see the house. I'm going to wait right here. I'm not even playing with you. So he meets me at the house. He loves the house. He wants to see the house one more time with the prospective tenant. He is trying to talk himself out of the house. But wait, what if I don't have a tenant? That don't I can get you the tenant. Don't worry. <laughs> I can sell houses. I rent houses too. I can get you the tenant. Okay. I, I heard it's in the flood zone. Somebody told me it's in the flood zone. I called a friend of mine. I said, no, it's not in the flood zone. Do the research. I get the flood um, website. Send it to him. I'm not in the flood zone. We get to the house for the inspection. I go around the neighborhood talk to different people before the inspection and after the inspection. Is this area flood zone? No, it's not a flood zone. During, during, during the inspection, he's like, yo, I heard somebody rob somebody, broke into my boy's car. He works down the block. I said, don't worry about that because you have a driveway. What are you talking about? You're good. That's why you got a driveway. Are you trying to talk yourself out of this house? Pays for the inspection. Then... He said something to me. Well, he paid for the inspection already. He paid for the inspection already. <laughs> well, now, he's telling me he doesn't feel comfortable putting the down payment of the house before the repairs are done. So, guys, let me tell you something. When you're purchasing a house and you do the inspection, after, after you make an offer on the house and say, hey, listen, I want to buy said house, this is what I'm willing to pay. And the seller accepts the offer. What you do, the next step is you have an inspection. The inspector goes through the house, writes everything that's good, writes everything that's bad, and sends in the report. I now then take the report, 
go through the report with you, see the major things that need to get fixed. Then I send the report to the buyer's attorney. The buyer's attorney has the report and the seller sends the contract over. The buyer's attorney now changes the contract and puts the repair list on it and says, okay, seller, my buyer agrees to sign this contract if and only if you fix these discrepancies. He signs the contract, says this contract is only valid if you fix the, if you don't fix the discrepancies, this contract is not valid. It's not that hard. I understand people have their reservations. I understand people get a little nervous, but it's not difficult to understand. So I said, don't worry. You put your deposit with that contract, you send it and it gets held in something called escrow. It doesn't go to the seller. It's held in an account that the attorney holds until closing. So you're not, you can still back out. You can still say, you know what? I don't want this house. And they return the deposit back to you. The reason why it needs to be held in escrow is because a lot of people back out while he's making the fixes. And now his money, the seller's money is no longer liquid. It's tied up into the house. He could use that funds for something else. And then when someone's ready to buy, make those. But anyway, champ, I'm not comfortable with putting my money. I'm like, this is the way it goes. This is the way it goes. You're perfectly fine. If you feel that I'm lying to you, talk to another agent, talk to your attorney, talk to a separate attorney. I even send him things on Google, showing you the breakdown. When you sign the contract, you put the deposit. It's showing good faith. It's showing that you're serious. Guess what, Gabe? <laughs> He backed out and doesn't even have the courtesy to give me a call. You know who he has called me? His mom. This guy's like 40 years old. Tight! But I'm okay, though, because it's part of the game. I'm okay. That's why it's called the Champions Here Show. It's facing adversity. So Character building. Definitely character building. But for a quick second, I was tight, <laughs> sick to my stomach. Bleh. I wanted to earl. I said, yo, I worked hard on this deal, bro. And you don't even got the decency to give me a call and let me know. And you, you showed me that you're man enough to say, you know what, champ? I'm good. You have your mom call me. It's all good, though. Story number two. There was a house that I closed on months ago. But unfortunately for the buyers, the seller, super cheap. You see, the promises that he made during the inspection, he didn't live up to it. So what happened was there were certain things that he cut corners into the house that the buyer wouldn't have known. So the gas line wasn't connected in the third floor. The contractors poured all the material in the, in, the, in, the, in the plumbing so they couldn't take a shower in the third and second floor. There's, the, 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 there's no automatic um, feeder for the boiler, so they got to manually heat up the house on the boiler. The garbage wasn't disposed of, so the garbage that they fixed built the house is still in their garage which is bringing in turn rats in the house. There's no railing. There's a whole bunch of stuff. So now all the little things, that, so guess what? My policy is it doesn't matter if the house is sold, the deal is not done unless the buyer is happy. Yeah. Not, to, not to mention, I have an exclusive right to represent with the buyer. 
which I don't feel is right that they pay me. Like I get, pay, I, I'm a dual agent. I get paid from the seller, and I get paid on the buyer side. So I'm a dual agent, so I get a smaller commission from the seller, and I get the rest of my commission from the buyer. Cool. You know what I'm saying? To explain complete transparency. So I still have not gotten paid from the buyer's side. So it's like pulling teeth with the seller. Hey, listen, I got to call him every day. So guess what? The gas got fixed. So they, now they can cook. The hey, water's, Lisa? The water's running. <clears throat> so the only thing that needs to get done now and and I got the seller to come to um they didn't install it, but they weren't gonna pay for it, but now they're gonna pay for the automatic feeder for them. They just gotta pick up the garbage and put in the rail in. So now they're getting happy, but I'm still on the ass though. Still on them. Still fighting with the seller. You know what I mean? I gotta do that. I gotta fight. I even told my man that. I was like, I was telling him, he was like, yo, you're a good dude. I'm like, and they Haitian lows, because you see I got my, it's not a, it's, yeah. yeah, I didn't, I didn't even do that. I didn't even, do that. so he was like, my man, my man Lowe's was like, he said, yo, you didn't even have to tell me the story, bro. You just, they Haitian, that's it. Epi, that's it. That's, man. that's it. You're supposed to do that. I was like, I heard you, my uh, No. No. <laughs> so I'm fighting for them. So they got some of the things done. It alleviates the pressure. So I'm going to fight to the end for them and make sure. So these things frustrate me, these things. You know what I'm saying, too? So I went from the ugly to the bad. And now, Gabe, finally, I'm going to tell you why. I do what I do. You see, in early in the year, and that's why you always get, you manifest, and if it's for you, it's for you. I got a house and contract, and there was this lady who wanted it so bad. And she was like, yo, I really want this house. I really want this house. I'm like, yo, you don't make enough. You don't qualify. I kept telling her that. Then a few months later, she calls me, is that house still available? I said that it's not available, it's in contract. We were going back and forth, going back and forth, but unfortunately, the buyers could not close. They were just giving us the runaround. I guess they were saving money, this, that, and the third. So the manager at the office was like, you know what, champ? put it back on the market and I said oh I do have a backup buyer which was the lady from early in the year now I call her up and she qualified she saved up enough money and she qualified for the house and I said you see if it's for you you're gonna have it nobody can stop what God is supposed to give you Nobody can take away with God. The universe is for you. What God bless, no man can curse. Nice. Honey, you heard that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Get chills, bro. You see, I sold her that house. And she's a single mom. Again, dual agency, I got the exclusive. She was like, yo, I can't pay you all this bread. Yo, I never bother her for the bread. She calls me every few months and gives me some, some, some money. It says, yo, this is what I can give you. I know it's the holiday season. I wasn't even bothering her. I'm like, yo, listen, she calls me up a few days before Christmas. And she's like, yo, this, thank you so much. I love my home. I went inside the house and I said, I said, I said, oh my gosh, your house is beautiful. I'm like, this is the, you, you turned this into a home. And she was like, yes. She's like, you don't understand. I keep you in my prayers. I talk to all of my friends about you. You're going to be blessed. 
You're gonna be blessed. Thank you so much. She was renting. The landlord was taking advantage of her. You know what I mean? Raising the rent all the time. She had, you know what I mean? Yep. So that made me feel amazing, bro. Like I did not know. I think you know, people were happy to buy the house, but she was so grateful. She kept hugging me. You know, it was amazing. It was amazing. And I, I can't wait to hear your stories like that when someone says, Gabriel, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you so much. You changed my life. You changed my life. So it was an amazing feeling, bro. It was amazing. It was amazing. It was amazing. Amazing. So. Yeah, man. So those are the three stories that I had dealing in real estate um, for the year. It wasn't easy. It wasn't easy, but um, it's been an amazing year for me, 2020, as far as real estate is concerned. And, you know, you don't expect certain things and some, some W's I didn't expect. Some things that I thought was in the bag definitely jumped right back out the bag. Yeah. I, mean, I know what that's the like. First story that I told you, that first story, but it's all good though. It's all good, <laughs> so I'm not thinking about it. On to the next. On to the next. On to the next. So I'm not even sweating that. I'm not even on that. So, so yeah, man. So that's what I just wanted to keep you guys a little update what's going on. And, uh, you know, it's a hell of a ride, you know? Yes, sir. Mm hmm Maybe that's it. Maybe that's it, you know? All right, all right, all right. So, yeah, man. So, it's it's a beautiful ride, like I said. And there's more to come. I'm going to have funnier stories, different stories about, uh, you know, real estate. But I have other things in store. Definitely. Next. Talk next about them yet. Can't talk about them yet because uh, there's a lot of haters. Facts. A lot of blockers. And you don't want people blocking your blessing because a lot of people are, you know, Dikembe Mutombo out here trying to block your blessing. And, uh, you know, you got, I'm learning to keep my mouth shut. Boy, we don't need to, we don't need that extra energy to fight against. Yeah, man, that's why I'm learning. You talk about you, you, you talk about the things you accomplish. Don't talk about the things that you're going to do. You can give a little snippet. Give a little snippet. Give a little teaser. But don't talk about everything. I learned that from a few of my homies that um, I saw what they accomplished after the fact. I wasn't privy to what was going on. And I, I'll be honest with you. Back in the day, not resentful, I just felt like I was a little entitled. Like if you my boy, you should tell me what you got going on. And um, and I think I told that story a few months ago, maybe a year ago when we started the show. But yeah, man, uh, I was a little taken back a little bit, but at the time, you know, I wasn't mature. I didn't understand understand energy so now that i have a better understanding of it you know i try to keep things a little reserved it's called securing it you got to secure the bag so you got to secure information also to make sure that it manifests because it's still going to manifest but there's going to be resistance exactly there's going to be a lot of resistance we don't need that extra Nah, you want that free flow. Right. You know what I'm saying? You want that, you know what I'm saying to you? You want that wet. You want it to just go in wet. You know what I mean? You don't want that <laughs> resistance. You don't want that resistance. You know what I'm saying? So you want that slip. Word. She said. <laughs> totally, she totally said that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? She totally digging. <laughs> you know what I mean? You know what I mean? You know what I'm talking about? 
So maybe that's it. That's it. You know, good the bag to in the bag. Yeah, man. Yeah. So no, sir. still learning, still understanding, but it's a, it's a it's a process. But yeah, that's all I got today. You know what I'm saying too. I hope you guys enjoyed it. You know what I mean. I got more in store. Any quick shout outs? Um, yeah, man. I want to shout out definitely um, Long Champ Success. We got some things going on. Um, you know, definitely got some investors and plans that we got going on. Uh, big shout out to the um, Brooklyn Cove Yacht Club. We got a lot of things in store there. I want to give big shout out to that. I want to shout out Lee Realty Group. Definitely partnered up with them. So they're going to be partnering up with Long Chance Success on different levels. Um, uh, anything anything that I missed? Um, just a quick shout out BT Group. And, um, you know, all our viewership, YouTube, YouTube viewers, Spotify and Apple people. So if I didn't say that already. Oh, one more shout out to the internet and to the I forgot to do this last episode for the um, for 2020 recap because I know I definitely mentioned the scammers, but all the meme makers, yo, like <laughs> this is. <laughs> I got time. <laughs> oh, and what I forgot to bring up on the the 2020 recap, I definitely forgot about all the fireworks. Oh my gosh! How can we forget that? I forgot all about that. 40 days and 40 nights. You know what I'm saying? Of straight firecrackers all day long, letting it go. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, man. But, you know, but never too late. All right. I'm tired. All right. So appreciate y'all. And uh, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Cheers.